and desk uh, rob versus i know desk is one of those puff mains that's within like the top five range of like the best puffs in the world um we'll see I i'm not surprised it's kind of crazy like i've never seen this matchup as a whole but here we are on a monday night the night before you know <laughs> the nintendo uh direct presentation and we have eight bit men here in desk yeah i mean a lot of odd things can happen the night before a Nintendo Direct, especially the Nintendo Direct for E3. Yeah, this this is kind of hard for Puff. Like, when she gets in on Rob, like, you can see the damage, but the problem is, like, Rob has some really decent boxing tools, and even then, if Puff wants to stay in the air, like, you don't want to get caught by Rob's up air. You don't want to be anywhere near above Rob in particular and that's the problem is that puff has to be around rob in the air and like that and trying to edge guard like ape and man like oh that that was a good one there able to that's the problem was like ape and man instead of stuck in hit stun but if he wasn't in hit stun that wouldn't have been that would have been fine for ape and man even if he can't tech as long as it's not a hard hit rob's recovery is good enough on stage techs like even if you miss it yep and right now uh both players at two stocks, getting hit by the up air, good uh, use of the forwarder, getting hit by that nair though. Gyro coming out, not getting hit by the laser. I did see that uh, rotor arms coming out. Oh, he was going to do the combo with the down air to the, to the rest, but looks like 8 man DI'd inwards and uh, messed up Desk's rest. Yeah. 8 man still has a pretty strong lead. Honestly... <laughs> It's a hard matchup for Puff. Like the, if we see more edge guards, like like we see here from Desk, or Desk has to be very aggressive off the stage, can't necessarily aim for a stage tech, but will go for an opportunity where it's like, okay, cool, let me let me get this opportunity here, let me get that there, off the stage, that works better than a stage tech. But we'll see. I mean, it all depends if Ape Man even gives him time of the day, because Puff has to operate in that really scary range. Yeah, I mean. Rob is really good at spacing, but also really good at, ooh, good fair right there, but that is a very high, that's kill percent for Jigglypuff. I mean, Jigglypuff can die very early compared to other characters, but this is very dangerous percent for Desk. And getting hit by that up air is gonna finish him. Man. Honestly, you said it best. It was very dangerous percent for Desk and for Ape Man. He says, I see the danger, might as well make it happen and get it over with here. And it's going to be point one coming out to Ape Man. And like I said, that's the problem is like Puff has to operate at all times around that scary range. And the only time Desk can actually get a break is when Rob is off stage. But the thing is that there are so many tools that Ape Man has as a Rob main to still fight back for stage control or even fight off stage or even stop Puff from approaching. You know, there's a couple of things like we have to see more edge guards from desk like we saw in the first stock and then any other stock that's what and makes this matchup really hard rob's hitboxes are very big so i mean edge guarding against jigglypuff since jigglypuff doesn't really have a recovery it's only jumps it, it's i feel like desk is going to be more going mid or high and not as much low recoveries yeah. But also, Rob does have that recovery where it allows him to use the uh, the boosters from the bottom of him to like fly upwards. So even if so, even if he did want to recover high, Ape Man could just use that and catch him off guard. So this, this is a very tough uh, matchup for Desk. Very tough matchup indeed here, and he's gonna have to put all that he's taken from Game One into Example One. See what he can find. Um. See what he can find against Ape Man, honestly, altogether. Look, I'm gonna be real with you, Mighty Man. I think the worst update, in hindsight, it's a good update, but the problem is that, like, you can't choose the songs. Because hearing this song in, like, a, we're lucky we're in winter semis, but can you imagine if we were in grand finals and this was the song on Final Destination? This would not hit. Like, oh, I can't really hear it. Let me turn it. Oh, now I hear it. Oh, goodness. Yeah, now I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, 
I get one thing that I think about Smash sometimes is like like there's some peaceful songs, but then you also got two people two to eight people beating the heck out of each other while this this peaceful music plays in the background. Like it does it doesn't sit well for me. And probably for a lot of other people. And Desk losing his second stock. Could we see a possible three stock coming from Ape It Man? I hope we don't. As much as I like Ape It Man, I would hate to see Desk just take it this way. But this is what makes characters so different in different stages of a meta. Like in online, like Desk is <laughs> honestly. It's, it's not building well for Desk. Rob is such a strong online pick, and for Puff altogether, like I said, I'm a broken record at this point. There's so many tools that Rob has that any position Jigglypuff wants to operate, it becomes 10 times much much more difficult. If Jigglypuff runs the runner way, that's actually the worst call you can do, and if you want to stay too close, Rob still has some pretty decent boxing tools. Like, if you see how far Desk is, like, Ape Man can still chase him off the stage. Yeah, it's, and especially when... When we go back to offlines, I feel like these online robs and nesses are gonna. There's gonna be a lot less of them. Oh, did did he really just kiss him goodnight? You saw that? He do he went down. He was like later, bro. <laughs> I saw that. Oh man, he gave him a good old smooch on the cheek while he was sleeping. Oh, I read him read him a bedtime story. <laughs> Unfortunate oh, stuff. Oh. And I felt that Desk had buffered that rest in the middle of a mash out, unfortunately, because that's you could do that when you're trying to mash up with C stick or control stick or even your buttons at times. But unfortunately for Desk, you um Ape Man was able to get that. And because Puff being one of the lightest characters in the game, literally she will die to that down smash. Isn't Puff like one of the top five, like right like I, I right think behind, behind Peachy? Pichu, Squirtle, and Puff are the top three lightest characters. I can't remember the particular oh. order. Yeah, I mean, I, I just hope when when onlines like get bigger and bigger, uh, I mean offlines get bigger and bigger over the time. I just hope we don't see as many Robs and Nesses anymore because, gosh darn it, Robs and Nesses, there's too many online. <laughs> Like, I feel like that's the most common character I see online out of every character. Yeah, it's the character strengths in the Wi-Fi meta. Like, they go from being, just as an example, like, let's say one character can go from mid-tier to being all of a sudden, like, a high-tier, almost top-tier at times, just because of the Wi-Fi meta. Like, I argue, like, Samus is a decent high-tier. Probably the worst of the high-tiers, in my opinion, but in Wi-Fi, Samus is, like, a top-three character. It is. Yeah. Oh, this is great. For, yeah. Th this, this is the more that Desk needs to do. If Desk can keep getting stocks like this, Desk will be able this to win. But it's just so hard because lo look at that upper. You're almost dead. And on your way back to the stage, look at how much you have to fight against on Ape Man. Gets to get up on that one. And at that point, Desk was forced to roll because if you stay at the ledge, you have to worry about gyro setups down there, laser at a distance. Like pretty much, Ape Man knew how Desk was going to come back. And even if Desk didn't want to do that operation. Rob knew how to counter that all the way. Yeah, I mean, it's very that, like one thing that in this matchup, uh, Puff does like do really or excel in is like using the, the her aerials to keep you off stage and just drag you out because of how many jumps she has. Just to drag you off stage and get you into the blast zone is like her biggest strength in uh, this matchup. But, Oh, getting the fair to the rest, but that was not. Yeah, See, it, it's only worth if you're able to get a stock lead. But an ultimate, it's so hard because it, it's just it's more for an early stock lead. And in this case, like, look, Ape Man could just come back on the stage and immediately punish Desk. Uh, yeah, the, Desk has an opportunity, the, though, even stocks. The one the two things that you want from your rest is either a star KO or the screen KO. Yeah. But, it's, that's like RNG at that point. It kind of sucks. And in my opinion, I wish we had more consistent KOs rather than just randomly getting the star KO because that can so that can that can be too many people's demise. Yeah, right. because I'm. Star, uh, 
Like, especially like if someone does like a star KO, but then like they're free falling into the blast zone. Like, it's only a matter of time. Oof. Like, you gotta. Nice use of the rest there to steal that game, actually. He stole that game, actually. So, one thing Puff is notorious for with the rest stealing games. But to continue what I was saying, uh, I mean, oh yeah, Star Chaos. Um, it's only a matter of time. Is like, are, is you gotta hope and pray. Like, is it gonna be a Star KO or a Screen KO or just the normal one? And so I could get the win. Cause sometimes you kind of just want to go for the sideways KO or downwards, and you'll be good to go. But upwards is very risky. Yeah. All right, let's see if Dust can do this reverse 3-0. I think I, I would, I would be very shocked if he could, if he if he can. I feel I think that I mean right now the chats is going wild for Dusk, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, man, Dusk is able to clutch it out, and honestly, I agree with Conway Pro. Dusk does need to clutch those grabs a little bit more. Like I said, if Dusk is able to be aggressive towards Rob at all times. Desk can win, but it requires a lot of patience and you avoiding so much just to be able to break through Rob and then try to take the stocks. When it does work though, Desk can just put on a show. But most of the time, it's so hard. Like the way, just like I said, Desk, if Desk wants to fly around Rob, try to get a cross up, Jigglypuff's airspeed is too slow that Rob could just meet Jigglypuff already in the air. Rob could just punish Jigglypuff for, for being anywhere in that space. Uh, but Ape Man will be going for a different character color this time around, and Battlefield as a stage. One, Looks like we're going with the good old uh, pink Rob. I, w I wonder why he changed. I, I really, and unless this is like his uh, his tryhard skin, which we we <laughs> all have one. We all have one. I, I know. I know you viewers are watching. I know you have one. I, I, I think I have one. I th actually, I think all the if all the colors are good, I don't mind. Like I said, being above a, just being above Rob, that's the problem. Is like, Jiggly Puff's airspeed isn't great. This is a rough matchup. Despite the desk was able to get one game, like it's still difficult for Jigglypuff on Battlefield. Like, look at how much juggling Rob can do against his character. The Robo Arms stopping Desk from coming out anywhere on the stage up there. Like, this man can even get his feet on the ground until just right now. And even then, look at how much time he's going back to the air. And if that up smash had been a little bit earlier, man, that would have been stock. I mean, yeah, d uh, Puff, her her jumps give her like great mobility in the air. But if she doesn't have any, man, that up smash killed so early. Man, this, this is looking rough for Desk right now. There are only I mean, three characters in Smash that are considered balloon weight, and coincidentally, Jigglypuff is one of them, unfortunately. Just because Jigglypuff is, they're called balloon weights because Jigglypuff is the lightest character alongside Pichu and Squirtle. Yeah, and even, she even acts like a balloon because she's a floaty type. Yeah. Well, which with the other two, uh, Squirtle and Pichu, they're not floaty. I don't think they are. No, they're just very light. Yeah. And it makes oh, sense. Get... But yeah, I mean, it does make sense for her to be floaty and they don't. But let, let's see if Desk can bring this back. Come on, chat. G give give Desk your power if you guys want him to win. Oh. Why, I don't know I, what I happened wonder... there. I, I really yeah, don't me know what too. I, I looked. It looked like he fast fell and wanted to do something, but his fast fall momentum, or he probably was just trying to do the good old homie stock, you know. Uh. Oh, oh wow. The buffered rest. I think that's what it was. But yeah, I mean that's the worst thing that could any use the gyro to back air combo. That's very that's I feel bad, man. It's rough.